Some of you wanted to see how I turn handwriting into a writing file for our use in design space. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to upload the photo of your writing sample into Inkscape. I zoom in as close as I can so I can see the letters better. And what you're going to do is you're going to go down to draw bezier curves and straight lines. You click at the top of your line and you'll see a little square up here. That's how you know you're starting to do your line. And you just continue down, tracing the line. Click again and it'll turn green. For example, with this H, I don't want to do this because it'll double draw on that line. So go back to that and just hit enter and it'll create your line. So you don't want to have two lines for this little section. So for letters like this, you never want to go over a line. If you get to a point in the letter where you have to do that, just hit enter and make a separate path. You can combine everything later. You will combine everything later. So also what you're going to want to do is when there's straight segments like this, you want to try to do as many, as few rather, nodes as possible because the more nodes or squares that's the more times that your Cricut has to drop and pick up the pen to draw and if there's too many it can cause your Cricut to get overwhelmed and the file will stop working and you don't want that to happen so try to do as few as po as few as possible in straight segments obviously when there's curves you're going to want to do a few more so you can actually get that curve and I'll show you how to do that in here. So again you're going to start at the beginning of the letter by clicking and just click along your letter following that curve as well as possible and I'll show you how to clean that up and make that look better then. If you get to straight segments click less, curve segments click a little more and I'll show you how to clean that up and make it look a little less boxy in just a moment so then to clean it up you're going to click on edit paths by nodes and on all your curve sections, when this is selected, you click and hold your mouse down and drag and form a box. The nodes you selected will turn yellow. You go up here and click on Make Selected Nodes Auto Smooth. And then you'll see that it smooths it out. And you can adjust it a little. And I'll click out. See how it smoothed them out? makes them less jagged and do the same thing for this make them all smooth and then you can just click and drag them to adjust and then again click and drag and just adjust as you go Oops. there we go It's just trial and error. Actually, just select all those. Okay, so then I'll do one more letter. Now for this P. Again, you're going to come into an issue where you're going to double go on a line. So for the P, for example, I would probably just do the line hit enter and then go back and do 
this part. Clicking along to trace. And And then again, edit paths by nodes. You have to click first. Once you can see the nodes, then you can click and drag to highlight. You're going to auto smooth them. You can also select one at a time, like so. so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this up and I'll show you how I finish my file on here. Okay, I'm just finishing up here. Another cool thing you could actually do is like here, I drew a little heart. So you could do little doodles like this and make your cricket draw them. So that'd be cute even to like replicate little drawings your kids do. Obviously nothing, you know, too intricate, but be super cute. Obviously, this isn't practical for all applications, but it is cool if you have to duplicate a bunch of stuff. All right, so you can see I'm done now. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the picture in the back and just delete it. So you're left with your writing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect, select the select tool, draw a box around everything, and I do object, group. I know there's probably other ways to do it. I don't like doing it that way. So this is how I do it. So then we're going to save it. I'm going to just save it as birthday. All right, and then we're going to go into Design Space and upload the SVG that I just created. So what you're going to see, and it's going to throw you off, it's going to show this is filled in, but watch, once you change it to right, it changes it. And as you can see, it is now set to right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and attach everything. Now you're just going to go down and change every letter from cut. To write. And as you can see, it's treating it like a writing font. There's not going to be any outlining of the letters. It's just going to write like an actual writing font that you got directly from on design space.
Let's see. And then if you go to make it again, obviously it's it's set way big, but set it even tinier. It's so I hope this helps. If you have any more questions, please feel free to comment below.